Hi, she says, my name is Liliana Orozco. Since 1996, I was diagnosed with HIV. And since 1996, I've been uh, under ADOC. Only until about three or four years ago that I was given private insurance. But then I'm a case manager. And I can see 60, 70% of my clients, they all need to be under ADOC. And they all need to go back to the labor force. And so what will be affecting if a person wants to be part of the labor force and but he cannot make it proportionally in, in his income, what will be the income there? What will be the benefit to go back to the workforce if you need to spend all your money and the and the medicines? They're 1800 one 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 is easily 18 uh, I mean 1600 800 dollars. And I wanted to, my message over here is that we as HIV positive person, you're not giving the medicines because you are a good person. No, it's because it's a right and it's a, a uh, the providers, the public health has to give us that because otherwise we will end up in a hospital, in an emergency room, and it will be more costly. It will be more, much, much money being spent than $1,800 a month, okay? So, yes, we will die. We will die. And what is it that, what is it that ADAM needs to be contemplating is not only the, the hospital bills, but also that that HIV person is, is also a family member. It has children, it has uh, husbands, it has family. They, they also care, but they could not handle this cause. I do beg you, I do beg you, eh, the people, whoever is managing, to consider these 400 changes. We will not be able to make it. We will not, our incomes, even though I'm a case manager and I went to the university, I will not be able to handle it. I will not. My husband is also positive. And I had to care for the, for the AICP, for the co-payments. So I do beg you to consider those changes. I do beg you to look at us as productive people, productive people that has gone over that step, over that barrier, and we are now in society. So please let us live the rest of our lives with the medicines. We need the medicine. We cannot live without it. Thank you.